And yes, so what is Clubhouse and how can world language educators use it? So again, we're gonna talk briefly about it. And uh, if you have read my blog post about it, it's gonna be kind of like a recap of that. So basically in Clubhouse, it's, it's kind of like, a, think about it as a live podcast. So th there are different rooms, there are different clubs. So the big thing is a club. So think about the club as an umbrella. So if you have a club, it could be a club for educators. And within that group of educators, they can open rooms. Uh, for example, Evie and I belong to this group over here in the picture that's called educators. Uh, we belong to that club. So if Evie and I wanted to, if we talk to the um, coordinators of that group, we can say, hey, we wanna open an educator chat about Standardized testing, God knows that's not what we wanna talk about, but just as an example, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna open a chat about that. And uh, they will approve it and then we will open the room and then we could invite anybody who follows us or anybody who follows us on social media and say, hey, we're gonna be at Clubhouse Live talking about this. So it's kind of like a Facebook Live, but it's much better because in a Facebook Live, it's me giving you, and in a webinar like this, it's me giving you information and maybe, you know, if I solicit responses, you can talk back to me. But in Clubhouse, people can raise their hand and they can go on to, to talk uh, and share their opinions as well. So again, you wanna make sure that when you join Clubhouse, you follow uh, different types of groups. So these are some of the groups that I follow. This is a screenshot of some of the groups that I follow and some of the topics I'm interested in. And then also you can go to the explore feature and you can uh, click on, on languages and you can go find groups that practice specific languages. So, and for example, if you wanna, you, you, if you wanna practice your Spanish, you can go and sign up for a Spanish practice and you'll find a lot of people and they will, you will see that there are different levels of the language acquisition journey. And uh, you can even get together with other people and create your own groups as well. Uh, there are all kinds of topics. So Clubhouse is not, it's an excellent tool for professional development. Like for me, I think I have grown so much on um, the topic of uh, social emotional learning. There's an amazing group for that in there. Um, and there are other groups for uh, parenting, dating. I mean, <laughs> you name Everything. it. It's like anything that you're into, there are some groups of, uh, on it. And the other thing that is wonderful is that, yes, there are people who are just there to waste other people's time, but most of the people in there are actually in there for serious reasons. So it's all about who you follow and, uh, and, and, and that's, that's the value you're gonna get, the people you're gonna follow. And that's what we're here to talk about. So um, let me go to the next one. So we, you can explore the group. So that, that's what I advise. As soon as you get your invitation or if you have your invitation, you can always go to explore and you can click in here and select what you wanna know more about. And then you can also search the clubs. And if something, a topic comes to mind, you wanna see if there's a club on that topic and follow that club uh, so that you can get the information about their sessions and their meetings. And let me tell you, there are meetings 24 seven every day, four o'clock AM, you can't go to sleep, open your Clubhouse app and you'll find something to do. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So um, here are other examples of some groups I follow. Uh, SEL in education, that is an amazing group if you're in interested in that. Uh, Dream Collective, that's a group I follow as a former DACA recipient. I am just very passionate about this topic. So I follow that group and it is incredible. And then the educators room, that's one of the most um, active groups for educators. So definitely follow that one. The third, just recommendations. You don't have to follow them. And as you can see, uh, and I have covered the people's faces because there's a rule about screenshotting. Uh, some groups talk about very personal stuff. So when we screenshot, we wanna make sure it's okay with everybody. So that's why I have blocked their faces. But uh, these are some of the clubs I've been in where I have like, wow, like I have had amazing aha moments. For example, there was a, a room for like two hours and they were discussing our AP and IV courses discriminatory. And there were principals in there, there were teachers in there. I mean, uh, it, it, was, uh, it, it was pretty outstanding, the, the conversation that had going. They even had some uh, 
senior students who were part of this talk and they also brought their input which was very interesting to see uh, again that SEL group has really interesting SEL topics happening all the time uh, and then some of this room some of these clubs will tell you we're meeting every Tuesday at 7 p.m. We're meeting every Friday at 6 p.m. So you can kind of like schedule it and put it on your calendar, okay? So then we have, um, this is another group. I love Enneagrams. I'm a type three. Uh, I don't know if anybody else in here loves Enneagrams, but I love Enneagrams and anything that has to do with like Myers-Briggs and like Colby testing, like getting to know myself. I love all of that. So I follow this group and it's in spanish and i love it because it helps me expand my language uh, i grew up here in the u.s at the age of 11 so my spanish is good but it could be even better mm -hmm. and to get it on that level i need to follow people and i need to follow topics that are more complex so that i can expand my vocab so that this is one group and it's it's the best of comprehensible input because i i can follow everything they're saying and then all of a sudden it's like boom a new word right a new word to me or a word that i already knew but i don't use it because it's not part of my everyday language and um for me as a native speaker this this is an amazing way you can follow groups in spanish you don't have to follow the groups that are like spanish speakers or french speakers you can actually search topics of your interest in french in spanish in german in whatever language you're looking for they have it and so this is another group it's called everything's education and uh, this this uh, conversation was also very, very, very um, valuable to me as well. And uh, so just give it a chance. And the beauty of it is that if you go into a room, you can leave. If you if you go into a room, you don't like what it's being said or you're just getting bored or whatever. Or you're like, OK, it's not for me. You can leave and nobody's going to uh, tell you anything about that. So I'm gonna let Evie talk to you, talk to you because she ha brings a little bit of a different perspective, and then uh, we'll we'll um, I, I will sh uh, share with you on my phone exactly what the app looks like, and then we'll do the invitation chain. Okay, Evie. Well, hi everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I'm happy to be here with y'all to share my experience with this app that I've been hooked with for the past couple of weeks. Uh, my experience, I've, I just love it. It's it's my time to, you know, I love to listen to audiobooks. I love to listen to the radio when they have good topics. And having this app on my phone has been great. I've been able to get, you know, professional development on all these educational clubs for me, for me as as a as a general teacher for my Spanish class. I've been able to interact from people from Spain at different times of the day and help me better my Spanish because I'm able to speak a lot more with people that speak Spanish 100% while here in the US, even if we grew up speaking Spanish, you know, it's different because we're interacting and changing languages all the time. So we're between English and Spanish, so it's been able to help me in that. Also, not only have I been interacting with groups that deal with education, I'm also interacting and listening to conversations about you know personal growth how in ways i i've been in in conversations in groups where they talk they they touch all type of topics about personal growth and i believe that every age educator needs to self-care take care of themselves mentally and physically so you can find groups of all these type of topics how to work with your mental health how to work you know with your passion and you know uh, work with that what you're passionate for and struggle um stick with that also um groups about um personal growth how you have to make yourself a priority um also a group that i love that i've been in it it's about public how to learn to be to do public speaking you know people like me that i'm fearful of public speaking even though i'm talking here i'm i've been in a group listening to people like me share their experience share their um experiences and what has helped them overcome the fear the fear of speaking in public that's something even though i'm a teacher i know that it's something i have to i have to work with sometimes so um clubhouse has been for me one of the best apps that i have i've been giving you know i love to listen to podcasts i love to listen to um aud audiobooks but having that opportunity to be able to speak and to also listen to people listen to people like me in a um in a scenario where you know we're all at the same level we're all everybody's talking sharing their experiences live 
from all around the world. I've been listening to people from Africa, from Italy, from Spain that are having the same experiences and need of knowledge like I have. And that's been awesome. A few days ago, I jumped into a um, conversation of this um, psychologist and she, she had a small group and I just jumped in because I was interested in what it, it was about leadership. That's something I'm really interested in. And, um, you know, it was about different aspects and not all were educators. They were, one was a company manager from different, um, different um, uh, professions. And I, they asked me to come up and I'm like, oh my God, it's, I'm so nervous. But I was, you know, at first I'm like, oh my God, they're going to ask me. And they, you receive like a notification if you want to come up on stage. And you know what I did? I said to myself, you know, Abby, this is your time to lose the fear of speaking with other people, speaking um, of public speaking and try to speak with people that you don't know. So they asked me a question. I answered it. They loved my answer. And, you know, I had that opportunity to interact, to share all my knowledge, all my expertise in my field that is education and hearing other people ask me questions about my experience in leadership and my experience as a teacher and them comparing my um, my experiences and, and my uh, my life as a teacher with their own profession. It was awesome. And I was able to interact, make friends. Now we're following each other. And that's the good thing about Clubhouse. It's not, you're not seeing the person, but you're also, you're, you're being able to open up your mind to listen. That's something that some, we need to work with. We always we tend to, we have to be very visual, but with Clubhouse, you have that opportunity to open your heart, to open your thoughts, to open your mindset to other people, experiences, to chats and converse and very um, fulfilling conversations. That's my experience. And I invite everybody to be part of this because this is an awesome opportunity right there at your hand on your phone you don't need you don't have to be too tech savvy to be able to use it you just have to be open to interact to listen and to speak up and share your story that's always important yeah so thank you so much evie for sharing that i want to share a little bit about my experience even though i kind of like presented the first part but i didn't tell you about my experience and I want to share it. And that's why we're here. And that's why I said, okay, I, I really hope that people come because I, we're, I'm going to sh share with them how to learn from my mistakes. So I was invited into Clubhouse in December of 2020, but I didn't start using it until maybe about five weeks ago. Uh, I mean, I was using it then, but I, people, everybody, everybody uh, who was talking about it at the time, this was from my entrepreneurial circle because um, I am, as you guys know, I am at what they call an edupreneur. Uh, uh, so, um, so I follow those types of groups and those were the people who got me into Clubhouse to begin with. And they're like, oh, it's amazing and everything. So the, uh, somebody get, gave me an invitation. I went in there and I was like, um, okay, I'm really not feeling this. And then I tried it another day and I was just like, okay, yeah, it, it's wonderful, but I still don't see the wow of it. So this was in December and then recently about five, six weeks ago or so, maybe even longer, but it, it hasn't been two months by any means. That's when I opened the app and, and maybe it's because it's been growing exponentially and now there are a lot more groups in there um, that I started following specific groups. I, I searched for specific clubs. So when I first didn't see a point in it, it's because I wasn't part of any clubs. So that's number one. And then the second thing is that you have to follow key people if you want to have the access to those really meaningful conversations. So today, you know, when we give you an invite, when we get our invitation chain going and you're in there, I really want to encourage you to go ahead and don't wait and just go ahead and follow clubs and follow people because through those people, you are going to find uh, the connections that you that you want, uh, the groups that really bring a lot of value to to you, and uh, and you can personalize your experience. And I'm gonna show you how to do that because it took me nobody taught me this, and I had to figure it out on my own a couple of weeks ago. And when I figured that out, I was like, wow, this is this is amazing, this is incredible. And and everybody else that I've been listening to, all the um, professionals and uh, all the people who have big businesses. They're all talking about how Clubhouse just came to cha change the game. And if you have friends who have Androids, uh, Clubhouse just released the news that 
it's going to take a while before they get it to Android. So right now it's only an iPhone app uh, for, for a couple more months and it is absolutely free. And I also want to add that it is so diverse. I love the diversity of all the voices that you can find in Clubhouse, just like Evie just pointed out. You will connect with people from all over the world. And then the other thing is that you are going to learn from professionals. Um, as, as Evie mentions, it is, you, can, you can go to the room and you can just listen. And sometimes in the small rooms, I love the small rooms because in the small rooms, you have more of a chance of asking the expert questions and of sharing your voice. In the big rooms where there's like hundreds of people, it's kind of hard to do that, although it's possible. And so if you're in a small room and people will, um, will send, you will see a little green message that says X person is asking you to come on stage. Don't let that scare you, okay? Because you can say later and you, don't, you won't go on stage. Nobody will ever force you to speak up in Clubhouse. So that's, that, let's just begin with that. Um, but you know, maybe you wanna be like Evie. The, the first time for me speaking was very similar to Evie's. I was so nervous because you hear these people and they have such level of an expertise that you're like, wow, what do I have to contribute, you know? So, so uh, and, and then, you know, I started speaking in the groups and it just got more comfortable and more comfortable. So, you know, definitely challenge yourself. First, you know, test the waters, uh, understand the app a little bit better, and then you can go and you can actually speak. You do get the more value, just like our students. They get the most when they are active participants in our classrooms. So same for us. We will get the most when we're active participants in these clubs. So that's kind of what I wanted to say. And one more thing that I'm going to share is that you want to have a picture on your profile at the least. So maybe you don't want to have a full-blown profile, OK? You, you can. It's helpful. But you do want to have your picture. And the reason why you want to have your picture is because there are a lot of people that may want to troll in Clubhouse and they have a very zero tolerance for trolling. So if you don't have a picture, they really don't take chances with interacting with you because you may be a troll. So to avoid that, you want to make sure that you have your picture and that you link your profile to either Instagram or Twitter. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. If you have it, you can. Okay, so now what I'm going to do before we go do our invitation um oh and also for that, I, if you most of the people most of the people when you um like have the opportunity because this is like the socratic dialogues where you're able to share your input about whatever topic topic they're talking about but if you come into a group and you don't know what the topic's about feel okay to ask or feel okay to share hey i don't have a lot of information that can you can you share more information for me to be able to add because everybody is very humble. Everybody is open to share. Everybody is really nice on Clubhouse because every, you know, most of the people there, you know, they're experts, but they want to hear your story. They want you to open up. So they're really nice. If you don't, if they ask you to come up and they, and they, you like, don't know what to talk about, you can free, feel free um, or to ask for more time or to just ask again, what was the question or what was the topic they were um, sharing about? All right. Yeah, that's an excellent point, Evie. Um, most definitely it's important because, you know, sometimes we can definitely feel intimidated in different rooms uh, for many reasons, especially I've been joining some groups on educational policy. That's like something I won't say that I never cared about, but I never cared about being a voice in one of those rooms, even though that is important for me. But I'm just like, I'm always under the pressure of, um, you know, the districts don't really listen to teachers. So, so it's like, why bother? But, you know, I realized that being part of those conversations has, has just ignited something else within me. And it's important to be part of those conversations. Um, okay, so everybody can see my phone right now. Yes? Yes? Okay, awesome. So I'm going to kind of navigate through Clubhouse right now very quickly and share with you uh, what it looks like. So this is the app right here. It has a picture of this guy. And you just go in there. And right now, well, I already follow a lot of clubs and places. Uh, I, I do a lot of, um, I'm very big on like, um, you know, self-help and um, just moving ahead in life, entrepreneurs and everything like that. Um, so you have over here, how bad do you want to, right now, if I wanted to go on Clubhouse, and now some of these groups, I don't even know where they're coming from, okay? So I'll tell if you see something weird, it's gonna be like, okay. So um, 
maybe I want to go to that group and I can go to that group and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click there and you should be able to hear the sound. It may not ever happen. So that's rule number one for me. Rule number two. Okay, I had to leave because as you can see, you saw that video that says sharing recordings without the speaker permissions violates the community guidelines. Okay, so but you saw that I went in there and then I was able to hear them have a conversation. And then I was also able to click on leave quietly. Um, and then uh, you have uh, all these other groups. This one is on tarot readings. I am certainly not into that, uh, <laughs> but for some reason it's up here on my on my group. Um, and and you can just see a lot of groups. There is um, over here. What is it? Legacy leaders, um, boss talk. Right now, I don't really see anything about uh, education happening, uh, but let me share with you. In here, these are the conversations that happened today. So there was a, a conversation scheduled, financial, important of youth financial literacy. Okay, so that's a conversation I might have wanted to join earlier. Uh, there, are, there are some groups from my homeland that I follow from Mexico because it helps me make, you know, stay connected. Mm -hmm. um, different types of groups in here that, that I follow. This one right here uh, doesn't really say what it is for, but Calvin, this guy right here, he always has really good groups for educators. And uh, I'm always inviting my friends to different groups. Like I always invite Evie to, to all those groups. <laughs> and uh, and yes, yeah, so anything and everything you want, you can, if you want to have church and clubhouse, you can have church and clubhouse because mm -hmm. I follow a lot of those groups too. And uh, so if you go to my profile, anytime you go into a room, you can click on people's faces. So here's my profile. You don't have to have a profile this big, but that's like kind of like what I did. And, um, and then from there, just tells people who connect with me uh, what I'm into and what I'm in there for. And, and that way they can follow me if they want to or not and um, and that. But the beauty of it, so when you go to this conversation, so you wanna connect with the right people, you wanna, you saw when I went into that room, you could see everybody's little pictures in there. All you gotta do is click on the mm -hmm. picture and then it'll take you to their profile. And if you really love the way that person spoke, you can, uh, it doesn't have it in here, but there should be a little, um, a little bell in here to follow them or so that you get a notification when they are online and you can actually join their conversation and kind of like, in a way, stop them on Clubhouse because you wanna hear more from them. And then the other thing is like, when you follow somebody on a specific topic that you wanna follow, you wanna scroll all the way down and you wanna go to the clubs they follow because this person is probably in a way going to be like-minded. And uh, so, for example, if you follow me, you can go all the way down and you can go see what groups I'm a member of. So I'm a member of this group. It's called the Teacher's Lounge. Uh, I'm a member of this group that I share with you. It's educators, uh, educators and entrepreneurs. Um, this is another group about uh, public speaking also. Uh, and a group for, in Spanish for educators in general, not just Spanish educators. Um, so you can follow me if you want, you don't have to, but you can go follow me and, and like see some of the groups I follow and feel free to follow those groups too. So that way, when these groups go live, you can actually um, get notifications that they are going live and you'll be able to, to, to check that out. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to share with you because, um, and then the other thing is like, if you want to find a club about Oh, this group is really good. Ed Tech. Ed Tech Tips. Um, so you can follow that group and they're gonna be, and in here you can see, join us on Clubhouse to talk Ed Tech, 7 p.m. on Mondays, Thursdays, and they tell you when, and you know, you'll be able to see them there and it will be all the talk about Ed Tech. So that's another really, really good group and that, that is worth following. But anything else that you like, any topics, you just go to search and you can follow them. And also any people, I shared an invitation with my friend the other day and the best thing she could say to me, she sent me a text message and she's like, oh my God, I'm in a room with Demi Lovato. And I'm just like, girl. Oh my God. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> she's like, yes, I'm talking to them in Lovato. And I was just like, okay, that makes you happy. You know, I guess, I guess so. But yes, <laughs> you can follow celebrities and you can have I have not had that luck. Like, kid you not, like you, Oprah is on Clubhouse. I mean, there's big names on Clubhouse that will sometimes go and have uh, talks and they will be featured. So that you wanna, you, if you wanna follow celebrities, you can, and you may just be in a room with them at some point. So that's another neat feature about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop my share and we're going to do our, our invitation chain. Let me see if I can. Hold on one second. I, did I stop my share? Yes, I did. And I want to. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and stop my. Um, I'm going to stop my recording because I don't want to expose people's information. So I'm going to stop my recording.